For 44 to 43 BC, Israel is that we see. He was fought in history. His life was a complete mystery. Coming to Peloponnesian War histories, we come to our friend Theocides. He came up with political realism and hated the guy's narcissism. These two men didn't like slain, but both were part of a game. The game is stories, so all wrote about Athenians. Both of these men wrote scores of books about wars. Rises preferred the Persians, Theocides loved the Peloponnesians. If history was a woman, love would conquer them. They loved to think about time, and they weren't quiet like mimes. One wrote the histories, the other wrote a couple of theories, both which to go back to see their forefathers get attacked. These two were true ponderers, and they were wanderers, always searching for more info so they could write down like Cleo. They were true friends until the very end. They both liked to write and about the past and had a real bite. Without them, we wouldn't know about Thermopylae or the brief heroes of that tragedy. We wouldn't know about Marathon or the views of certain nations. So when you think of history, always remember Theocides, and since we know you won't forget us, just try to think of Herodotus.